In Philip Montgomery's second season as a head coach, there's no question you can see the strides that this Tulsa football program has made the past two seasons. In its four wins this year, Tulsa has averaged over 48 points, demonstrating a certain mentality that his players take with them each time they step foot on the field. Aggressiveness. Um, he, uh, there's definitely no doubt that we're going to go deep. It's just when it's going to happen. Evans up over the top. It's Lucas. He's wide open. He'll take it for six. Touchdown, Tulsa. And uh, the way he broke it down to me is, you know, you take ten throws, ten deep balls. If you miss five of them, you can either look at it like, man, I missed five, or you can look at it, we're up 35-0. So, you know what I mean? It's just, it's all glass half full, half empty type of mindset. It's that fearless mindset that has helped Tulsa win back-to-back -back overtime games against SMU and Fresno State. Against the Mustangs, the Hurricane ran 103 offensive plays, and that's a style that excites seniors Dane Evan and Keevan Lucas. He gives you the option just to be yourself, go play football, you know. He doesn't put any too much, too much on it, no more, too much pressure. He just wants you to, to be a football player. You know, you do this every day, you know, you wake up and sleep football most of the time. And so it's, it's normal, it's natural, it's something that you, that you were made to do, you know. So he, he, he kind of instills that into you, like, don't put so much pressure on yourself, just have fun. And that's, that's what, I mean, that's what keeps the whole team in, a, in perspective, you know, so. He's elevated my game tremendously. Uh, first day I met him, you know, he said his name and everything. He said, we got a lot of work to do. And I said, yeah, yes, sir, we do. He said, no, me and you. And I said, yeah, you're right, we do. So, I mean, from right then, we, uh, we got after it. He's really helped me on my quickness of getting the ball out, uh, decision making, and just general knowledge of football. Um, a lot of people, you know, because we run the quote unquote Baylor offense think that we don't read defenses and stuff like that but Coach Monty is one of the smartest offensive coordinators in the country. You, you could, he could run any offense and his offense would be prolific but uh, I mean obviously our offense is fun to watch it's up tempo. Putting the wins and losses aside Montgomery is building a greater foundation one that will live on past his players football experience at Tulsa. Man Coach Montgomery is a he's a great guy man great man of God just good family man Pretty, cool. he's a cool guy to talk to, you know. And uh, just being a year on his system, they say that he he tells us, man, look forward to, to year two, because year two is always, you know, when you start getting comfortable and stuff like that. And he definitely has changed, came in and changed the, the program dramatically, you know. And it's, I mean, we definitely blessed to have him, a man like him and his caliber, come to our program and do the things that he's doing. So. You know, I, I want us to be known as a school that, that represents more than just football or basketball or whatever sport you're talking about. Uh, we're into developing kids, um, kids that are going to be great citizens, great husbands, great fathers, uh, going to help society in some way or shape, form or another. Um, as guys leave our program, I want to see how successful they are and no matter what they do, and I want them to come back because we're a family. We've talked about being a family. Uh, I'm going to keep track of them all the way through it. So. Uh, for me, it's just about seeing young men really grow and develop and mature and be great men of society. A successful start to the 2016 season and a solid foundation are all products of Montgomery's time since he stepped foot on the Tulsa campus. Last year, the goal was to become bowl eligible and the Hurricane reached six wins. This year, the goal is the same, but the sky is the limit. Well, that's kind of what we've, we've talked to our football team about. We laid a good foundation of what we want to be but last year was last year, and this is a totally different team, totally different leaders, uh, and we've got to go out and make plays on the field. So uh, we'll see what we're going to be. Our goals are still the same. Uh, we want to get bowl eligible, um, and we want to be competing for the conference title at the end of the year. Uh, that part's never going to change with us. While competing for a chance to play for the conference title continues this Saturday as Tulsa hits the road to Houston. The Hurricane and the Cougs have played the most series among active American Conference teams as they meet for the 41st time this weekend. Tulsa is looking for its first four-game winning streak since the 2012 season, while Houston looks to rally back after a heartbreaking road loss to Navy. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central on ESPN2.